Hello guys, how are you doing? And I hope you are all fine. And welcome back to this channel. And I hope you have subscribed the channel already because that's why you are here and you will really like the video today because I'm going to talk about a very important topic that is how to just uh, request for any internship or project to any prestigious institute uh, and especially to the professors. Now you might just uh, feel that it's so easy that we can just go and mail different professors and then someone will reply and finally we will get the internship but with uh, i will i'm going to tell you that this doesn't work actually because i have also mailed a lot of professors uh, in my time and i've uh, actually once i ma mailed about 30 professors but honestly the response was 0 out of 30 so it's not that uh, how much you mail it's about how you mail so we today I'm going to tell you about a very good kind of uh, procedure through which if you mail the professor you your chances of getting an internship from any IIT or NIT uh, especially in India so in India or in anywhere if you just mail the professor in this manner so the chances of getting an internship or project is very high even if you are in a very uh, third tier college or in a lower college don't worry I know I have a way for you to get an internship and also I will tell you some things that you need to take care because what we feel is that okay we will just re request the uh, professor and the professor will get the request you will see oh my god such a very determined person and he will just say okay come 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 but that doesn't happen actually in reality even if you mail them again and again so they will just repair report you spam or even some, some sometimes block you so i don't think that will happen with you after watching this video because you are going to mail the professors in the right way in the best way and let me just tell you one thing you might feel that okay uh, let's not watch this video let's just go and mail the professors right away so you will just go and type the professors email blah 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 uh, at gmail or something dot com or let's say you type at some institute let's say iit dot uh, AC dot in uh, particularly in India so you might feel that you have typed the email and then you will just type it here request for them a request for internship or slash project anything that you could write so you might just be sending emails like in this format and then say okay uh, respected sir uh, respected sir or ma'am and blah 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 and more blah blah which the professor uh, any professor will actually ignore in fact when the the email comes up like this uh, with this subject that request for internship project uh, then they might very few professors open this kind of mails because they are so much busy and they want very dedicated people so mostly even if they see this mail they are going to request you because you will just say uh, I am I am so 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 and doing so 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 i want an opportunity so 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 definitely this would actually not work okay i will be capital don't worry even if you do that then it won't this won't work actually because why i am telling you this won't work is because a lot of students send the mails in this way and maybe some of the those might get it because their body uh, highlights something but let me just show you a very better way so first thing is uh, about 
whom you should send sending to a lot of professors won't actually help you you first need to identify which area uh, you want to do the in, uh, internship or project and only send to those professors whom uh, you want to do under uh, whom you want to do internship on, under them so not just any professor because uh, you are let's say doing physics or um, chemical engineering or electrical engineering and you just are sending to all the uh, professors of that department no first identify which uh, area actually inspires you so first find out the research area and then let's say we go to iitb that's iit bombay and here in iit bombay just for an example because a lot of people uh, where uh, let me see what happened just wait a second i guess i need to reload it okay what's this why does this come like this let me type iitb so we go to iit bombay website ah what is happening yes now it's here so we go to their website for example you can go to any iit or nit website this will this is i'm taking for an example here you can see a lot of things now first thing that you want to know here is about the faculty because under them you are going to do the project so now you have a lot of things here but you going to need to go to academic divisions and depending on your department you need to select it okay so let's select for example chemical engineering you could select any of these okay any of the departments as per your interest this is for all branches so don't really have to worry about that now you need to go to research because you are doing an internship under them so it is a research internship uh, let me just check once yes so under research in research areas i told you this in the uh, starting that you need to find out the particular area of interest so after i hope you have found out and let's match with these research uh, areas if you don't know don't worry click and open let's say let's click this read it and see if this excites you or uh, is similar to your area so there are so many things here let's go to catalysis and reaction engineering for example uh, or maybe let's say thermodynamics and thermodynamics is quite a <laughs> bold subject so anyways uh, just for example thermodynamics and molecular simulations uh, wait a second and then we have here the research groups okay first read all these things this will help you just a few minutes of time and the sub areas too uh, but let's see we have a one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have nine professors so the most uh, uh, main thing that you need to report important thing that you need to remember is should you mail all of these professors well actually no uh, uh, first try to mail mail wait a second these are some topics also so you can just read these topics also I will tell you that read this okay uh, if uh, if after reading this uh, you are actually excited for this product uh, project or something then you can just go to the professor mail so hello professor and then you will find their information so best thing is that find their information but before that find what are they actually doing study about this okay and their research areas as well uh, but the main thing is here I want to tell you is that let's say we go to up here so different people have different uh, different professors have different uh, even if the research area is same they have uh, subdivisions so someone is working on something someone is working on another thing and you need to see this now uh, you can also visit their this is the site that you need to visit it's in every institute I guess and in most of the institutes. so after you get here 
this is where you need to actually focus and see what the professor is linked with because what we are doing is we are just going and here writing a request for internship project and telling them to give an opportunity but what opportunity do we need just an internship so that we can show everyone that it's okay we have done internship no we want to know about which area of interest and the subdivision we are interested in so that this professor uh, where is uh, he is at down so so that the professor could actually help us and give us he will feel that we are very specific and we have uh, read his publications at least read the first publication the latest publication so the first is the latest i guess uh, let me see yes so at least read the first two and understand what he is actually associated with right now okay and i know maybe people won't read this and just go to the home and read stuff and then email them but i guess you need to do a little bit of study before just putting up so let's say we take any publications uh there is research tab also here so there is research tab and there is one this this okay so let's go to publications and here we found out let's say we open this and here is the publication we can go to like sky up and open this up you can just copy the doi copy link address paste it open it and uh well let's see if it opens up yes it's loading and and you get the paper now just you need to read these 12 pages and get an understanding what the project is why i'm telling you this because if you do this uh, for any any uh, branch or anything they have their publications they have their research interest areas subdivisions so if you are uh, hitting on a particular specific task uh, let's say one or two related tasks because all these stuff are related because the professor is actually focused on a particular a sub domain of the whole research interest so if you are just uh, gathering information here and then actually mailing up to this uh, where it is then just copy up this uh, copy email address pasting this and now what you need to write because you have done you have gone through the paper or the publication computer aided rational design whatever it is it might be different so maybe you go up here that i told you and so you need to just mention here a particular thing like uh, composition dependent long term stability mosaic so i guess it could be anything i'm just taking an example let's say uh, stability this should be this one mosaic stability electron interface then you can just copy this uh, this could be anything in your case you can actually go and read the research paper and ask a particular doubt uh, doubt or something you can say uh, in, in, uh, in instead of just going and writing request for internship write interest in or you can write uh, or you can write interest in a uh, dash uh, paste it or you can write a uh, request to work on this now the point here is you haven't mentioned internship and project but 
you are requesting for work or you uh, uh, so that or any is if you are writing that uh, request uh, for in uh, information or something like that uh, don't mention internship so that is where the professor will see that this is something related to him or her and they will surely open your mail the first thing is that reading the subject and opening your mail so this kind of subject will actually help them to open the mail then you can mention the first thing is that mention who you are after dear sir respected sir then mention uh, then immediately mention that you uh, have read some papers uh, mention those papers and ask your doubts at least uh, in fact you will get some doubts because there is no student in uh, the world who doesn't get doubt after reading some papers so then if you just mention your doubts in the beginning and then if you ask that if you could work under the uh, guidance of that professor then i will surely tell you that you will get a reply after getting the reply how to just move into the internship i will talk a little after uh, you have just gone through the process so i hope uh, this initial steps will actually help you to connect with the professor and uh, later on if your connection build ups and he uh, replies you then this will actually help you a lot because otherwise in most of the cases students don't get reply and that is the main reason now one more thing that i'm going to tell you before you guys uh, end this video uh, the main thing is that if you are at a, a low college then try to contact the professors of slightly higher college not the top colleges directly why i'm saying that is because if you just contact the top college directly even if you do all the process in this way there are uh, are very uh, less chances because ultimately most of the professors that i have seen try to take students from like uh, good colleges and the, if top professor will try to take from top colleges or little lower colleges but not the lowest colleges so that thing you need to keep in mind and i hope this uh, uh, video will actually help you and you will get motivated and you have found the direction so please just subscribe the channel for more such information and more such techniques and more updates and i hope you like this video thank you guys bye bye do reply uh, do mail your professors thank you